today I am showing off my Lego video games collection and we'll just start with one of the older games that I got which was Lego Batman the video game which was one of the first Lego games that I remember getting I got it for the Wii and then we've got Lego Batman 2 for the Wii as well I really like both of these games I actually haven't 100% completed any of my um, Lego games. Like, well, I haven't 100% completed any of my games. So, yeah. Lego Batman 2 is one of the closer ones that I have on the Wii. The closest I've actually gotten to 100% completing any of them is Lego Indiana Jones 2, which I had Raiders of the Lost Ark. I had the Hub World thing completed 100%. And then the game crashed and I lost all that progress so I had to restart the whole thing so yeah but um, so I got Lego Batman 2 we got Lego Batman 3 which I've currently been working on going back through the levels I'm still only like 30% in the game done with the game so I got quite a ways to go and I really like that that one's good, but I actually, out of the three, I prefer Lego Batman 2 because I like the open world feel to it. Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures, was, is quite good. I like it. And Lego Indiana Jones 2, really liked that as well. It was more of an open world, like each hub world had no, their own little open world, which was nice. I really liked that. All the bonus levels, those were fun. Parts of the Caribbean, didn't entirely care for it. I actually think my dad got this. That was the reason we got that. As well as Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, so... But my dad is. Like, he's seen the movies. I haven't. I'm not a big Star Wars fan. But got it anyway. And then we got some of the newer games that I got. Which we got Lego City Undercover, which I knew I wanted to get because I'm a big Lego City collector. And most of the sets in my Lego collection are City, so I knew I had to get this. And then we got Lego Worlds, which I got it just pretty much open world. So that's like the whole point I wanted it. I haven't built anything in Lego Worlds, I've mostly been using it for exploration. So that's like the whole point I've been using. Like, that's the whole point I got that. I might, um, with the Lego Movie 2 coming out in 2019, I might get the uh, Lego Movie video game, which has been kind of high on my list. Like, I could have won that and a PS4. And so, but I didn't when I entered to win a con entered a contest. But, so, I'm still hoping to maybe get that. I really want to get that game. That's one of the few lego games that my collection is missing but you guys can tell me your thoughts on my video game collection in the comments section below and i think the lego movie video game is one of the uh, few lego games that i'm missing right now in my collection for ps4 and i've only got a couple other um, games like i've got a ton of wii games but some of them I didn't even bother. I don't even bother to play. Then again, my Wii is broken, so and like unfixable, so I can't even complete any of these, any of the Wii ones. And it's like my I only have like four other games that I actually played as much as my Lego games, which they were all SmackDown vs. Raw wrestling games, which I got the 09, 2010, and 2011 version, and then I got 2K17. Yeah, I made that mega jump. Which I would have had WWE 12 and 13, but I didn't get those. And so, yeah. And then I skipped 2K18, partly because I got 17, like, two months before 2K18 came out. So I knew I'm just going to skip 18 and maybe I'll get 19. But you guys can tell me your thoughts on my video game collection in the comment section below. And just like and subscribe for more, because I will do more in the future.